Hello everybody, it's Jack 20 and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. And we're here in Grundy Industries still, because we're still dangerously low in health. So, um, let's see what more havoc we can cause today. Let's see if I can run over here. Oh, that was close. Because up here should be another move for Kazooie. Okay. Let's go for us. Want this one? I think you might. It greatly increases your jumping height. Hold down Z and then press A. Bend your legs and be on your way. Now I ranked that one about a B. Maybe B plus. Kind of messed up that second last line. Anyway. So basically what that does, it's basically the equivalent of a Banjo's uh, Somersault. Oh, well, poor thing. That anyway. Uh, where's the? Sh there should be a shock spring pad here in case you fall down, it's Kazooie. Here it is. Hup. And I just realized when I was practicing that actually is not a ninja, that is a real Jinjo, but you can only get it with Kazooie's backflip thingy. Wow, I'm already forgetting what it's called. Anyway, now it's time we head into this electromagnetic chamber we opened up. Not for too long though, just to uh, fix some things up. Alrighty then. Oh boy. Okay, just head up. Now what you're going to want to do is, for later, beak bars is switch. This is the service elevator. There's also one on the first floor. But all these other ones are closed down, so it's well, this is be a magnet. I might as well say that magnet, uh, if anything really big, large, and metal was to go on that big red switch you saw, uh, that magnet would pull it away. Now try not to. I'll try my best to not spoil anything. Uh, what we turn into in this level is quite large and metal. Just so we have to get that magnet out of the way. We want that switch to be pushed. It's gonna blow up these, make a little tunnel for anyone who can jump as awesome as we can. And uh, finally, I activate that warp pad. I cannot believe I have not activated that yet. Okay, I need some health. Give me health. Thank you. Alrighty then. Let's head down here now, finally. We're almost about, we're just about done with the second floor, like exploring it all. Hi, hi, hi. Alright, there's another one, another one there. Hmm, hang on. Let's actually step back here. There it is, a fragile box. More claw clamber boots. Should be right here, there it is. Just jump on up. And just come up here, dodge the Elekman bolt. There we go. And, um, there should be a switch over here we want to press for later. Alrighty, oh. We're in. We don't have to go through the door. That basically connects back out to the room with all the tin tubs, but we don't need to use that right now. There's a poor old little bunny there with a, what looks to be dirty clothes. That's, I feel so sad for him with his dirty clothes. There's actually, like, I think six of them around the place. Oh, well. You can already pretty much, uh, you, knowing this game, you pretty much already know the gist of what's going to happen when we do, when we help them all. How though? Well, we'll have to leave that for later. Because we are finally on the third floor. Now then, this is basically the storage floor. So I'm going to split up into Banjo now, because there's some stuff we need to do as him. Head down to this room with Mumbo's uh, room, but across the way is another Baza battery. All right, get him quickly. Rouse him up. Right now, just gonna avoid the tin tops. Just gonna activate the war pad. Just keep going on my way. Cause if we climb up this air vent, here it is. There should be a little entrance here. We can then go through it. Oh boy. Now on the right, trying to avoid everything. Here you go, pipe. Just climb that up, get to the box, just keep moving. Loving this double jump, I really am. Uh, 
Uh, you know, forget everything I said about me not using this. This thing definitely helps with platform. I'm sorry, but I just can't keep to not using it. You know, if they didn't want to use it, they wouldn't have allowed this glitch to be used. Alright. Now here. Boiler plant. There is another thing that needs to be activated with the battery, which is right here. Galloway. Alright. So, the packing room. We're just going to take out the battery and power this up. Except, I actually don't want to go in here with Banjo. I want to go in here with just Kazooie. So, I'm just going to let Kazooie run up her way up here. There's also something that I believe Kazooie can get as well. So, um, which corner was it again? Was it, was it that? Was it the back corner? Or, um, there's a big old pants. I remember that, but no, this is it. Ah, here we are. This is the one we're doing. Anyway, run up, break this, shock spring, up. Break this box, get another empty honeycomb piece. Now, carefully guide, there we go. You can also do the little uh, wing whack thing at the end of your jump to get just a little bit more air. Like in Jack and Daxter. Except that's more of a spin attack, really. Anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna go on with Kazooie because he's a lot... Well, Kazooie's a lot faster than Banjo. Alrighty then. Oh, looks like a minigame colors. Twinkly packing challenge. The Twinklies? Uh, again with the Twinklies, now we don't need any rules. I'll tell you how to do the rules. The way it works is... You're gonna be running around this room collecting Twinklies. You can hold pretty much as many as you want of the red, green, and blue. Except just know that as you've seen, you get slower with the more Twinklies you have in your possession. And what you want to do is... Actually, I forget now how many you're supposed to get of these. I probably should have looked that up or let me show that, guys. Let's even figure it out somewhere. I must have it written down somewhere around here. Hang on. Oh, do 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 do. Right around here. You can also use these running shoes here to get some faster ones. Come on, I haven't written down anywhere. Yeah, then you have to run across the spots like that, like I'm doing, and just drop off the twinkly points. Oh, well, whatever. Let's just say it was 40, okay? I got 42 and I beat it. That's all we need now. That's how you do. You collect the twinklies and you run into the switch. So what, if you saw what I did, I've followed the example of other Let's Players I've seen. Just I like to collect as many as I can and just run all the way across and just run across the the platforms. Anyway, we're done here. Come on, Banjo. Let's take care of one last thing we can do here. Or one big main thing. Here it is. Back here, there's this uh, wall held on with screws. Well, we can use the pill drill like that to unscrew them. And underground. Uh-oh. Shaken. Um, okay. Just keep them coming. Another one. You have to be right on top of it, though, for it to work. And this should be the last one. Ha! Got it. That's in the electromagnetic... That's in the electromagnet chamber, so that's going to be useful later. I'm pretty sure it's the only time he uses it, though. Open the service elevator, but trust me, it's, a. Uh, it's a challenging uh, little mumbo, like, what would it be called? Mumbo sequence, trust me. So, first of all, I'm going to jump down here to get a globo, but sadly, it's so far down that you have to climb all the way back up, so I'm going to meet you at the top again. Alright, I just climbed the same way I came as Banjo. Now, over here, back where we had to go with Kazooie, there's a pipe, we can climb that up. Oh, the Lec Man bolt. I don't like those. And we can just get some notes here. 
Nothing too much. Jinjo Minjo, I forget up there, but whatever it is. I think it's now time we pay Mumbo visit and see what he can do for us. Okay, moving, 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 moving. Alright. So. We're now going to see what we can do with Mumbo. Just skipping all this. Okay. That was a little bit weird with my transitions, but anyway. I think I was trying to have a new transition, but whatever it is, it still does the trick. We just gave him the global, nothing we haven't seen already before in all the other worlds. Now we're gonna warp back to the second floor. Now trust me, there's a reason between behind why we had to blow up those shafts and get the electromagnetic chamber ready, because Mumbo can't jump as cool as we can, so he has to use the shortcut. Sorry, Mumbo. Alright. Take him to the electromagnet chamber, chamber and get ready. Because when you use his Mumbo um, spell or whatever, it's actually going to have a time limit. It has like maybe 90 seconds, so you got to be quick to take care of the things you have to do in between. Oh, not going to get that done for fall down stairs. Okay. Now we just use this. An EMP on the electromagnet. That's right. Don't know what that means. The EMP. We're basically gonna make. We're basically gonna make things go kablooey for a bit. Magnet malfunction. Auto fixing program initiated. Magnets will be reactivated in 90 seconds. And so, now time to take care of a lot of stuff in less than 90 seconds. First, we need to get back to Banjo and Kazooie pronto. Luckily, the timer doesn't run when you go through these little cutscenes between rooms. Otherwise, like, like scenes like that would probably take like a, this would take forever. But anyway, we're gonna head back to Mumbles quickly. I could be speeding this up, but you know, I might as well show it in real time to show. It, it seems hard at first, but if you know exactly what you're doing and like don't make too many, like if you just do the whole straight lines, the quickest path through any two points, you just make a beeline to whatever you need to go to, you, you should finish with plenty of time left. Go. Let's run, because now we have to go back to the second floor to turn into the big metal thingy. What that is, we're about to see, because I'm going to have to pay Humba Wumba visit now. Alright. I also don't think that the timer runs when you're in the warp pad menu either, but anyway. Let's run into Humble Wumba's hut. Or Wigwam, whatever he calls it. I think it's Wigwam. Alright. Yep. Oh, thank goodness that the timer does not go in this little cutscene either. Yes, we won't give you the Globo. Alright. That's all the Globo's taken care of here. Alright, now let's see what we turn into really quickly. Oh my god. It's the washing machine from Banjo Kazooie. Wait, does he need to fire underwear? So, yep, y'all remember from Banjo Kazooie, my wishy washy banjo thingy. Now he's an act, now he actually serves a purpose. Once again, you can't really jump, so we have to use the same path as Mumbo. We still got like 40 seconds left. At this point, you should have at least 40 seconds if you're just doing the beeline thing. Alright, so let's keep going. Alright, let's hurry and activate the switch. Don't worry, that's the only time you have to do something like this. Sparks go flying as we activate something, it looks like. An air conditioning plant. Oh, there's where we activated. Some fire danger rooms being opened. Looks like the repair depot. Huh. So, Haywire Pyrotechnics. 
or hardware that involves fire. That's going to be interesting to see. If any of you play Banjo 2, you probably already know what's in there, but I'm not spoiling anything. At least, not on, not on purpose. I've done so maybe a couple times, but not doing it now. Anyway. Now time to tell, now time to show you guys. Oh, nothing here. We won't go through here. I'm mean, time to show you guys what the purpose of the washing machine is. Remember all those bunnies with the dirty clothing? Well, yeah, pretty much makes sense from there. Washing machine, can you give me my overalls quick spin? I'm sorry, I'll give him a try. It's safe, I don't want him getting ripped. Just drop your shorts, buddy. Huh, Giggity. No, I'm not doing that. Oh, he's all naked. Come on, clean up the clothes faster. There you go. That's better. Try and find my five skivvy workmates. Cause that's pretty much the little thing you're doing with this guy. Man, we still have time on that. Uh, we still have time on the electromagnet. Dang. Could have had a little picnic on that thing for all we care. Uh, I'm starting to run out though. Uh, I'm all starting to get to my new time. Let's see. You know, I'm going to show you where the uh, second bunny guy is. He's out here, and then I'm probably just going to end the episode. You jump out here and just head over to this little bushy area, like grass area, and he should be right behind it. Maybe you soil wash if you don't mind. There you go. Alright, there's four left. And you know what? That's it for me. I'm Lucky Jack 20. Ooh. Yeah, I forgot the underwear cannon. Anyway, I'm Lucky Jack 20 doing Let's Play of Banjo Tooie. In the next part, we're gonna do more of Grundy Industries. Uh, can I get on this platform? Right. I'll get it eventually.